fitness. All right, there is a chance that we are streaming right now. There's a chance that it hasn't worked, but we'll find out. And if it hasn't worked, then we'll just stick it up as a VOD. Um, <laughs> Because, you know, who knows? Who knows if I've, like, screwed it for another. Uh, Does it say we're streaming? Oh, I think we are. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's actually worked. Get in. Uh, <laughs> so, hello. Welcome to uh, a surprise WooTube. Um, I mean, I say surprise. It's like the second one. We're not really doing anything regularly yet. But, yeah. Um, I'm Baran Wu, and today I am joined by uh brandon the king say hello brandon hello everyone i'm glad to be here this is good this is cool this is like uh you're my perfect first guest and i'm pretty sure that uh after a little mic check everything is sounding good and crispy which is great um so we're gonna play some games today we haven't decided what yet uh i've got a dumb idea which I had a dream about or um, or we could build or we could play what we were playing the other day but I don't know whether you want to keep that a secret or not yeah that might have to be kept under wraps just okay. cause I think okay. some friends have a circuit open or something but uh, what were you what were you having a dream about this okay so good. I was having a dream about why is no one playing riot suppression in ag infusion okay and i'll tell you why so right now um brain damage is like a bit more relevant than it has been for a long time because of keeling obviously um mm -hmm. so riot suppression just says take a brain damage or lose three clicks and so they just lose three clicks but if they lose three clicks then we're ag infusion so what we do is we stick a regenesis in the remote we hands eye review or simulation reset a five free agenda and then they can't steal it because we're ag infusion unless they're playing like direct access or they have five clicks does that sound as crazy as i like that sounds pretty good to me like that's a pretty guaranteed score or they take a brain yeah. damage which is also good for us yeah or they take a core um, uh yeah sorry core damage of course yeah so i would say it's good if i think you have to have the nani grid in the yeah. remote uh maybe <laughs> Yeah, because like to me, if it's like okay, you haunt a play this, stick a card in the remote, then I'm like, oh, like I think ordering matters too, because like if you just see the play, then you're just like, okay, I'm gonna take the core, I'm gonna go after the genesis in this remote or whatever's in the remote. Yeah, so you obviously you I also no, yeah. So, so like you... if Nani Grid's there, at least then it's a lot more tricky yeah now you obviously you always play the right suppression first you, you play you play the right suppression it's not terminal so um and like there it's obviously Wait. got the it's got the like mm -hmm. um they have to have trashed something but you're you're gonna have loads of stuff in this in this deck which needs trashing you're gonna have nanny grids you're gonna have keelings um or they just hippo your ice so you play the riot suppression first now if they just take the core then may then you maybe just keep stewing a keeling or doing whatever there um if they if you've got a keeling going and you can play a riot suppression you don't even need to like get rid of the keeling you can set up a new remote if you've got a bit of ice and a regenesis i guess like maybe you have to have a five free in the in archives already which is likely um you could just you could keep the keeling there and you could just literally set up a new remote like one piece of ice how much in uh right suppression's right. four so like you play two or three of them 
like two of them is like a lot of it. So like it, it maybe makes the ice tricky, but I think we I think the deck doesn't play spin doctors. I think it plays simulation reset instead of spin doctors because you want to be able to sculpt archives. So you've got like free influence back from that. So you could play like two riot suppressions and free fair child freeze. Or annoyingly, you can't quite play two riots and two tears. That's one too many influence. Because that would be ideal. Yeah. That would be like the one. So you can play like one tier and a fair child two or something. Like I'd want something else that potentially did brain damage, uh, core damage. Um, does this sound too dumb? And we can no, like it. It it seems okay. Um, hmm. I mean, we can just build something that's that's more sensible. I just like I <laughs> I woke up and thought about this, and it's probably also playing like twenty one points of agendas because I think I want free regenesis so that I've always got a regenesis when I have a riot suppression. Um, oh boy! <laughs> so it's like um, it's it's uh, unoptimal. There's, I'll tell you what. <laughs> there's even potentially an op- uh, a version that plays vulnerability audit as one as the other agenda, apart from Overcast Protocol. So you've got a uh, play riot suppression if they do the the like free less clicks then you install advance of vulnerability audit and then you can score it out next turn which is like dumb <laughs> but like i just always want to be able to i want to be able to capitalize if they take free less clicks you know like you always want to yeah. be like the free less clicks has to mean something really significant so we need to be scoring either three or four points whenever they do that that's that's my mind um but I don't know. Maybe maybe this is one which like I need to build at some point and and test it. Well, like, do you have a list? I no. Like, I've I've got the the bare. But I've got like the very bare bones of a list. But like, it wouldn't take long to put it together. I don't think because right because I think it's fairly standard. Like at the moment. The deck list is like free bacterials, free overcarters, free regenesis, free keelings, probably be two, but there we go. Free nanny grids and two riot suppressions. And I mean you can do three riot suppression one tier. Uh yes. So that that was that was the option. So we can do like Free white right one tier. Oops. Um, or play the like. Do right suppressions remove, remove themselves from a game. They do, which is a shame. But that's still like three of them. That's still like three pretty definite brain damage, so, uh, core damage. It's a lot of core. Yeah. Or you're just scoring like. I don't know. Like, yeah, that's a, that's a way to give the deck a scoring pledge for sure. Um, but yeah, and then that's nineteen cards, and then the rest of it would look like um, some number of Anansies. I'm like, I, not always putting free in a deck with Nana Civic Grid because it's not. I mean, it's still a really good card, but like, it might be too. Uh, it's probably going to have to play free Bifonimus because you're going to need something really nasty for the nanny grids. And if we're only a one tier, um, it plays like two DNA trackers. Uh, mm-hmm. It probably plays one Chiashi. We're not on send a message, so I don't think we can. Maybe it plays two just because it's good with nanny grid. And then. That's nine ice. Um, it plays some thimble rigs. 
maybe two, maybe three. Um, it plays uh, anemones. And then um, can't spell an enemy, apparently. Uh, so that's up to 14 ice. So we need like three more ice. Maybe it does play a third Anansi. Yeah, three Anansi. Uh, two more ice, maybe mm. just third Fimberig or Enigma mm. or. What's the bad Jinjiki um, one? Hmm. Um, Rig is good. I know we've played like Palisade in, in the past just for the remote, get your sheet off, and then you just boop it away later. Yeah. Um, I guess we've got no diverse powers in this deck. Is Tive is probably fine. Tithe is taxing to Anarch. It's okay. Um, White Space is a good little guy. Um, yeah, it just depends if you're looking for bigger. No, I've got all the no. like that. We we definitely just want like. We want small now. Unless we play it, there's a chance really? it plays like a second Shashi. Oh, I was going to say a third tracker. Maybe tracker. But. How do we make money in this deck? Um, we play. Um, let's put in three Rashidas. It plays three copies of um, Regolith. It play. It definitely plays hands eye reviews because they're potentially actually um, part of like our combo -y turn. Um, mm -hmm. It obviously has free hedge funds. Gosh, I can't spell today. Hedge. Um, and then it. Oh, we need like free simulation resets because we don't have spin doctor, and we've actually only got one more card slot. And we're only at 50 nice. Okay, so this is getting a bit tricky now. Um, we can always drop to two Keelings. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, two Keelings seems fine. I'm going to put in a single Palisade. I don't. I, I think that's actually fine. And probably, it might be the third Fimble Rig, because I think, like, so much I like of it. our econ here is... No divert powers is tricky, but it's probably fine. Um, I mean, that's 49 cards. So we got bacterials, oboes, and three copies of Regenesis. Which, like, again, like, like that could drop one. But I, I really think, like, every time you hit that riot suppression turn, like, you want to have... You want to have the option to Regenesis. Correct. There is a chance mm -hmm. that it could play Moonpool because then you could still s potentially threaten a score with a, a, a install advance. Um, because mm. you can Moonpool to get two counters and then advance advance. But, like, hmm. Uh, okay, so we got our agendas. Assets is two Keeling, free Rashida, free Regoliths. Seems fine. Um, yeah. Ice Suite is the Ice Suite. We've got Hands Eye Review, Hedge Fund, Free Simulation Resets, Free Riot Suppression, and Free Nanny Grids. It's a deck. Right. It's a deck. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to try and play yeah. it? <laughs> Let's go. Let's okay. Do it. Uh, it's a deck. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, we'll give it we'll give it a, a one hit and we'll see how it feels streaming uh, let me find my little no can't find it Fine. Um, switch dot tv
All right. We shall see what happens. Uh, so, Worlds in Barcelona. You're coming, I assume. Of course. Excellent stuff. Yeah. Got to get there. Yeah, I'm... That's gonna be that's gonna be a big world. Like that's this world is gonna be huge. I'm just excited. I'm like ex Barcelona was the best possible option for me, just because I knew that uh, I knew that Liz would be keen on us having like a a family family holiday there. So uh, so I think that's what we're doing. I think I'll come down on the Wednesday or Thursday or something, and then. Uh, family will join me on the on the Saturday, uh, and then we'll stay on for a couple more days afterwards. But yeah, I'm like, I'm already psyched, and we don't even like, yeah, it's ages away. But I'm I'm already excited. Okay, we got a game. Mm -hmm. Uh ah, uh, sorry, I've just. Built this deck on screen. And uh, I kind of got a call. Cool. Okay, they're going to run. That's good. Uh, right, they're playing Adam, which makes things easier or harder, uh, depending on whether they're on yeah. brain chip. <laughs> Uh, right, they are standard, Adam, so there's no, um, no always be running here. Okay, our opening hand is Riot Suppression, our one copy of Tear, which is kind of nice, uh, a Nano Civic Grid, a Hedge Fund, and a Simulation Reset. Oh, boy. What do you think? I don't know. Could put the Tear on HQ. That feels pretty bad. We'd probably put a tier on R and D if we did this. I think we might pitch this. I'm all gonna. Yeah. All right. Well, we got a load of ice. So <laughs> we've got two anemones, one palisade, one DNA tracker, and a hands eye review. Uh, and we draw a third anemone. What are we doing here? <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's pretty wild. Um, it's Adam. I think I'm just going to. Wow, this is not ideal, but I'm gonna Hansai probably in an enemy, and just like tracker R and D yeah. in enemy HQ. Yeah, it seems fun. <laughs> Okay. Uh, they draw a logic bomb. There it is. They play a show sure gamble. They install a no free lunch. Interesting. They career fair out a logic bomb so they get a draw. Uh, that's wild. Um, and they draw a no free lunch. Okay, we draw a Keeling. You gotta love the greed draw. Yeah. Um, okay, so Keeling remote, Palisade in the remote, or over top, and then an enemy on archives. Sounds good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I can't, uh, well, I guess it doesn't actually matter that we can't rescue the enemies. Got nothing in hand to trash. I mean, if you if we have nothing in hand to, they can run all day. It's yeah. fine. Um, right, they drew a jackpot. They install the jackpot. Ooh, I like that card. Someone the other day installed two jackpots against me. Oh, they're oh not. 
No, no, they've got a Lodgy bomb. I was like, they just died to this DNA tracker, but they've got a bomb, so they're all good. Uh, they're running R&D last click. Uh, are we resing? Res? Yeah, absolutely. It's a pretty good boop target, so... Yeah. Uh, they see a Rashida and trash a Rashida. Uh, we can't afford to res for uh, Keeling. Res. We're on two no, credits. We're poor. Uh, we draw a Rashida, which is awkward now, but there we go. Uh, we just no, credit. Click for three. It's yeah. Fine. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, someone stuck out two jackpots against me the other day. They got to like three and seven credits. They saw an agenda, they stole it, and they didn't pop them. That is the greediest play I've ever seen. They lost that game. Um, right, they uh, <laughs> drew a gamble, uh, played a gamble, installed a hearth rise, and took a credit, and then drew a mayfly. Uh, does he res his keeling? Sure. Yeah, yeah, res it on there. Yeah, uh, yeah, res yeah. at the end of their turn. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Uh, we drew a bacterial. Uh, I think we're just clicking for free. Yes, yes, we are. That's the kind of thing we do. I'm going to be really sad if we just win this without using a riot suppression, but like it really could happen. I mean, you put Keelan in your deck. Yeah. <laughs> That's how it goes sometimes. <laughs> He's a bit nasty against Adam, is what I'm typing. Just a bit. She's a bit nasty against everyone, but... This is where you play uh, anything to trash this directive. <laughs> like right now. I'm liking the fact that we've got one of the... Like this palisade I was unsure about, all of a sudden I'm loving the palisade. <laughs> okay, they're putting down a mayfly. Yeah, it's like... Come and break me. Yeah. Um... Oh, they'll be able to trash it with the no free lunch money. Um, do we res... So they're running the remote. Do we res the Palisade or do we boot them into the DNA tracker? How much money do they have? They've got eight credits plus two no free lunches out. Uh, just res the Palisade. Yeah, I guess we stick the Rashida behind it next turn, right? Yeah. Next Probably. Time. If this is the way they want to spend their money, be my guest. Okay, so they uh they bounced, they installed a daily cast, and then they're coming back with an overclock. Ah. Ah. Very good. She's like nearly credit perfect trash this. But that's good. They're poor. Will they end up with zero? Uh, they'll end up with one. So they're starting with one. They've got one credit. Um, they'll have a daily cast. And they do still have two free, two right. no free lunches. We drew an oboe. Um, Rashida, click for two. Rashida, credit credit. Yeah. Scintillating game. Ah, <laughs> uh, this Earth Rise. Ugh. Yeah. Uh, so Earth Rise draws them a cast and a gamble. Oh, and they drew so a mad. Much. They drew a mad dash off the um, safety first as well. Yes. And they've pretty, pretty seen an ovo. They know that we've drawn an ovo. They're not going to. Yeah. <laughs> um, right. So they trash a no free lunch. 
so they can play the gamble. They install a casts and they emergent out a. What have we got? We got boat version. A cleaver. Okay. Palisade actually pretty good against cleaver. And they draw a no free lunch. Uh, right, resin, resin Poprashida. Poprashida. We draw. Ooh, ooh, oh, one turn too late, I guess. Uh, so we draw two ooh. riot suppressions, um, a Regenesis and an Oboe. <laughs> oh no. I think we're, draw, um, we're drawing first click, right? Trying. Yeah, we are. If we find an ice, we might be able to play a Regenesis play. Uh, we found an ice. It's an anemone. Okay, so what's your play here? Because we still have seven cards, so it's going to be hard to discard. Um, I think we put the Regenesis in the remote. We put the anemone over the top of the remote. And then if they run anywhere, we can ditch an agenda. Yeah. Makes sense. And um, take it out. All right. Yeah. Oh no, we drew. We drew uh, no, so. we drew. We drew. Right. Yeah. So. And we will that have. Is what happened. We'll have exactly enough to like to score if that's the case. Yes. Next turn, maybe we just like. Draws. Okay, they're on brain chip, which makes things harder. Uh, so they, um, uh, what did they do? That went really fast. So they drew a brain chip and a brain chip. Um, they drew first click a logic bomb. They installed a brain chip, installed a logic bomb, and installed a no free lunch. Uh, so they end on four credits. We drew another Regenesis. Woo! Uh, do we just click for free here and ditch one of the agendas? Correct. I hope they don't run. <laughs> um, do we ditch... What do we ditch? I think we ditch the oboe, because if they steal you the... You ditch an oboe. Yeah, yeah. yeah, if they steal yeah. the bacteria, we we're in... The, ditch the oboe. Uh, a really bad spot. No, if they steal the bacteria, it's fine. Uh, not no, no, because they've got a brain chip out. Okay, they are. They're not running. They um drew. So they drew a Stargate. Good to know. They drew an emergent Ooh. creativity, and then they emergent creativity down a buzzsaw. Oh, cool! This looks like a turbine build. That's that's a cool thing to do out of Adam. Yeah, yeah, it gotta is. be right. Uh, right. We drew mm -hmm. Anna Nancy. Uh, we're just scoring this for just this running. Uh, yes, please. Now, are we ditching a... What are we ditching? Right, suppression? Yeah, I don't know if we... I, uh, how much money do they have? They've got four plus two daily casts. Ditch the bacterial. Oof. Or the other oboe. Yeah. I think I, I want to ditch. I think it's the oboe because at least there's an enemy on um, yeah. on archives. Yeah. So at least they probably can't mm -hmm. score it. Mm -hmm. Um. Well, the thing is, you might be able to like double advance the oboe in a future turn with an enemy, but they can't get to six. Okay, we've got uh, we've got some stream uh, we've got some chat uh, which I had completely missed. Uh, so, uh, Javi, <laughs> Javi says, "Wait, you put right suppression in this deck? Uh, that's effing nasty." Um, yeah, <laughs> it is, isn't it? <laughs> isn't it just? Uh, I will we'll show you the list in a second. Um, right, they are Brandon. They. Drew a dirty laundry. They drew a liberated accounts. They're dirty laundrying HQ last click. Um, 
Wait. Oh, they have the logic bomb. They have the logic um, bomb. I boop them. Yeah, into R and D. Yeah. Yeah. We can pop the Anansi there next it, turn, so Yeah. How much money do we have? That's the question. We've got six. So we can put the anemone, uh we can put the Anansi on HQ and click for two unless we draw any better stuff. They're thinking. Oh, can they break this with Buzzsaw? Surely not. Ugh, no. They have to bomb this. Um, and Jay Fargo, yes, indeed. Right suppression is here. So we open up some there we go. Yeah. Genesis scoring windows. That's the plan anyway. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Yeah, I've got you. And I'm pretty sure yeah. everyone else can hear you. I hope so. Um... Whoa, they broke it with the buzzsaw. It cost them 11. Fair Wait, play. No way. Absolutely. I was, I, was, so I, was trying to, I was trying to force the logic bomb and they were like, nah. <laughs> oh. Buzzsaw. <laughs> wow. $11. How much money do we have? Uh, we've got six. We draw a third riot suppression. Oh. Um, I think I'm just putting this uh, Nancy on HQ and clicking for two. Yes, you are. Ah, uh, see, we could have jammed the oboe this turn and just won the game. Uh, Maybe that's, we um, Maybe that's too risky. Yeah, that would have been too risky because we HQ could click. I'll tell you what, we open. could click for one and put the Regenesis in the server. No, we had Nazi first. We had Nazi first. Oh, yeah, we can't rest in that. Uh, but we can boop them. Mm. I think that we can win this game next turn uh, if we put the Regenesis in the server. They have a logic bomb still. Uh, yeah, but they can't run... So if they run last click intending to use their logic bomb, which is like the normal option, then we then we boot them and we, into R and D and we win. If they don't, I mean, they might just run this like earlier. Yeah, yeah, just yeah, go for the win, go for the win. Anansi HQ or Genesis Remote. Take a credit. Take a dollar. Go for the win. It's it's stream right. Do it for the stream. Oh my gosh. They're putting down Liberated and they're hitting it three times. Did you? Boom. Who says we can't score out? You might have one too many Regenesis in your deck. No, 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 no. The free Regenesis, if free Regenesis is, I, I genuinely think is, is key. Ah, oh, Phil is on in the chat. What is up, Zero F Maxima? Phil, it's too early for you. <laughs> if you have responsibilities, Phil. <laughs> like 7 a.m. for Phil. Uh, arguing, <laughs> Phil says arguing with Brandon is the best content. Let it be known. <laughs> uh, well, for, the, for everyone in the stream, you should know that this is why I will never agree to be like Brandon's oracle for an actual event because I am terrible at doing what he tells me. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Uh, you miss the spice. <laughs> take, 
Like, <laughs> like there, I want to take a safe route, and he's like, "Nah, let's just go for it." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah, they saw it. Yeah, <laughs> they're playing three of them. Uh, so funny. Um. Okay, well, this works. I mean, we didn't get to play a riot suppression, but like, like just scoring out with Regenesis is like solid enough, right? Seems hot. Okay, I'm I'm <laughs> setting another. Uh, we're gonna play another one. We're gonna we're we're gonna run it, ex- it back exactly as it is because it's currently unbeaten on JNet. Um, so I'll bring up the list just for people in the stream. This is what we're playing. We're playing free right suppression. We're playing one tier, um, and a couple of copies of Keeling, and the rest is pretty standard, I think. Okay, we got a game. It's against JTFQ nine 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 nine. Uh they are playing Steve, and our opening hand is Bophonymus, Bophonymus, Anemone, Bacterial Regenesis. You unfortunately have them all that. Yeah, I'm mulling it. Uh okay. Well, this is a hand. Okay, so we've got two regoliths. We've got one tier, one simulation reset, and an overcarter protocol. Yikes. I mean, there's some money there. <laughs> right? We, we could... What are we playing against? Uh, we're playing against Steve. <laughs> We can just put this tier on HQ, like, and use it as a a diversion booper, like, if it comes to it. We yes. kind of what we do, probably what don't. Mando draw. Uh, I had it hasn't happened yet because they are just considering. Hopefully, we draw this like sweet hedge fund. Uh, we draw a Rashida. That's not it. Well. Oh. Uh, Lick for two credits. And wait, wait, wait! Two. Forgot to mention. I'm streaming now. Is that okay? Well, so there's a play in where you in just simulate the, the whole uh, hand. Cool. Um. Yeah. Draw a whole new hand. I'm considering it, but then we still can't point. hedge, right? No, but you um, might get like you know a thimble rig. <laughs> but yeah. yeah, you can go t- tier HQ credit credit. I hope nothing bad happens to us. Uh, we could keep one regular. Regular at least is money. Wait, what? Uh, I'm genuinely no, 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 thinking no, about just it. Tier HQ, tier HQ, and then credit. Credit credit. Yeah, fine. Tier HQ credit credit. I just feel like. It's fine. Because next turn you can always simulation reset and then you can hedge fund. Yes. Yeah, okay, I like that. Um I kinda like that. So Phil says we should have put the tier HQ and then just stuck out the two regoliths uh so that we could adduct um Dr. Duke. Never listen to Phil. <laughs> That's the number one. Like, I, I only listen, listen to, to his podcast, but don't listen to Phil. Um, okay. Right. Okay. So they they drew, drew, dirty laundried and put out a no free lunch. We draw an anemone. Are we trying to jam like a Rashida behind an anemone? Or are we putting a regular thing yeah, do- yeah. No, we're doing the Rashida anemone. Take a dollar. We're never scared. Let's go. If they pinhole this, it's fine. They don't pinhole our regular. Yeah. And we're also threatening an Anzi on this bunny, so. True. <laughs> Nothing better than threatening an ice that you don't have down. Apart from threatening a snare nope. that's not in your deck. Yep. Two of them. We're threatening mm. two of them. Let it be known. 
so I was playing like I was at a uh, our weekly meetup on Wednesday. Um, mm-hmm. I was playing against Will, who who you nearly managed to persuade to come to UK Nats at like last at the very last minute with your enigmatic style. Oh, they are bravadoing. Let me look here. So they uh, drew, and they're bravadoing the server. Are we rezzing an enemy here? Um, I mean, it does a whole lot of damage. What are we trashing? Are we trashing an oboe? Or are you trashing a regular? I'm trashing an oboe. Yeah. YOLO. I'm doing it. Okay, we hit a... Oh my gosh. We hit a Miss Bones yeah. and a Rubicon switch. Uh, yeah, get that out of here. And we trash another Miss Bones. Yeah, get that out of here too. JTFQ is known for playing Rubicon Switch. Okay, they draw and they put down a class act. Um, we draw a Bephonimus. Are we? Oh, I know where that's going. Yeah, but do we just? Install regolith and click it twice first. How many? Co- no, they just class act. We can't leave that over stranded. Okay, so both Phonomus on archives. Regolith in the remote. Res it and click it once. Don't worry. I'd rather, I know. I'd rather well, leave a. I'd rather just take a credit. Can we not just take a credit? Sure, we could. Like, and then next turn we can click it three times. Mm, well, we're probably going to click it twice and put an ice down. Well, yeah. Okay, I'm resonant and clicking it, but I don't agree. <laughs> but I'm doing it it's anyway. It's fine. If they, burn a pin, if they burn a pinhole, we have another one, right? Uh, ooh. 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 Okay. <laughs> right. They uh, DJ Fenris out a Rainer, <laughs> and then they are <laughs> doofing us. Um, How much money do they have? They've got right three now? credits. Oh, they're credit perfect and trash. Yeah, over. yeah. That's utter- How many cards do they have in hand? Four. I think we still boot oh, them that way, right? How much money do we have? Six. Yeah, Four. we boot. We boot them into, into an enemy. Into archives, no. they've got four cards in hand. Yeah, yeah, but we have the Bathonomus. If they want to continue, or does it pass the ice? I don't remember. I can never remember. JNet ma- currently makes it pass the ice, and I can't. I don't know if that's true. Um, Verona is now running on that server and encountering the outermost piece of ice, if any. Okay, then book them in R and D. Yeah, sure. But I want this regular. I assume they go HQ for a Steve access here. Now they're just running. Yeah, maybe we should have just done this anyway. So now they're just running server one and taking the an enemy. Damage? Fine. Yeah, they lost a sneak door. And they're going absolutely broke? Yeah, they're on zero. Uh, We draw a Keeling. I really need... What's our hand currently? um, Keeling, Regolith, and Simulation Reset. So it's time to draw? Yeah. We need an ice. Okay, we have a Bathonomus for HQ. It's probably good enough. Yes, please. Um, And then... How much money do we have? Six. Regolith in remote? Stick that Regolith in there. That's good. <laughs> They're so aggressive. Okay, yeah, Jay Fargo says it, it would pass because it skips approach. I, I'm never sure with 
Hag infusion. I always get it wrong. So thanks for that. Okay, they are. What are they doing? They um, trash a no free lunch to gain free. They install a no free lunch. They trash it to gain free. They play a gamble and they draw a card. So they they end on ten uh, free cards in hand. Uh, we draw a Regenesis, which is going to be good eventually. Um, are we just slamming this regolith? Yeah. Click that thing. Oh, Take done. that, Reina. Otherwise, Asuma Hernandez coming down in the midway. Oh, yeah. I just, I don't see any world where this deck doesn't have an... Uh, uh, Cortez. Oh, well, we've got Kiros as well. So we, we've got the whole gang coming in. Uh, so they install a Kiros, they install a Panweave. Yeah, this makes sense. Uh, they lost a gamble to the Panweave damage and they drew a card and they drew a card. Okay. Uh, we draw an Anemone. Um, mm -hmm. Hmm. Is there any chance that if we click the regolith twice and stick the regenesis in there that we get it off? Probably not, right? Probably not. <laughs> Probably I mean, not. it kind of looks like uh, they're like... I don't know. They might just tunnel on our on HQ. Boomerang is like a card. Yeah, okay, fine. Uh, what if we click it once, put the regenesis in, and put the anemone over the top of it? There are two cards currently. Sure. That's a play. They're going to think this is a key thing as well. Like, I, like, so they're going to pinball it. Which might mean they then have to run it, but there we go. All right, they draw. They draw. Uh, they dirty laundry R and D. We yes, Regenesis is so good. Um, they must have done something else. I must have missed it. They drew, 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 and dirty laundry R and D. Right, score Regenesis. Correct. What did we mando? Uh, we drew a riot suppression, which they have seen. Very good. Uh, they know what's up. Okay, now we've got the whole crew down. So they uh, they drew, they drew, they installed Hernando. We knew he was coming, and they're dirty la laundering R and D. <laughs> okay, we draw a hands eye review. Um, we draw a how first much click. money do we have? We have 12 credits. And how much do they have? They've got 10. Okay, uh, you're drawn. Uh, we draw a Chiashi. I don't think we're ever resing that. <laughs> um, I think we are haunting that and putting the keeling in the room. Do uh, yeah, it's probably right. Oh, I'm just I'm just wondering whether we put it somewhere just as a as a ag ice like. Well, okay, then I would haunt say I would haunt say the right expression then. <laughs> yeah, I think you're right. We've got three of them, and then do I ice up R and D or do I put another piece of ice on HQ? Because I I kind of feel like they're gonna tunnel HQ soon. What I what ice do you have? Uh, it's currently just a Bifolimus. Yeah. I've got a Chiashi in hand. I just put on R&D. See if they just want to break things with their face or if they actually own breakers, even. Kind of deck which, which... Oh my gosh. They install a Xanadu. 
Okay, so we can res this Pathonomous. Uh, it'll do three damage, and they're on four cards. They're running? Yeah. Um, so they drew a card. They, they installed a Xanadu. Uh, and they're running mm -hmm. HQ. Um, How much money do we have? We've got 17. And this Bathonomous costs... What will this cost us? Three, four, five, six... Yeah, I'll give him two. Damage. Okay. This is going to be really bad after they actually install a Pagolta, and we have no divert powers to make it worth anything. <laughs> but free damage is free damage. Okay, we hit a Rubicon switch, a Rubicon switch, and a no free lunch. Uh, what's the chance that they... Oh, they're going to Steve for two Rubicons, aren't they? And then they're going to de it. Actually, that's good for us. Like, I'm kind of happy if they do that. They can derez any of our ice. And okay, they're choosing two dirty laundries, so we'll give them a dirty laundry. They see a simulation reset. Uh, they pan weaved as they well. Should. They're putting a tranquilizer on the Bathonomous on HQ. I'm okay with that. Yeah, we draw an oboe. How much money do we have? Ten. How many cards do they have in hand? One. Shove. Let's go! <laughs> they draw, draw, draw. GG. <laughs> Oh, that's incredible. Uh, and they are running. I don't think we have to do anything here. Oh, I guess we can bounce them just for fun. Uh, can I still res then? Is there any reason not? For so they're running last click um, into the server, which is an enemy, an enemy over Carter protocol. Is there. How many they cards do they have in hand? They've got four in hand. They have no tricks that I can see, but do I just boop them anyway? Yeah, you boop them into the pathologist. Into the pathologist. Uh, yeah, just to be... Just to be a nice person. <laughs> they pan weave us for one, but that is absolutely fine. We still have enough. We see a simulator reset and we score out. I'm really sad that we didn't get to do... Look, we got three riot suppressions and we still didn't get to riot them. <laughs> But we are just scoring out here. This, this is, is a, this is a sign. Yeah. <laughs> also, I've got I've got so much respect for Jay Fargal in chat. Says that he rezzed an endless Eula for twelve. Obviously, like there was a Hernando going on somewhere to flatline someone with a Bankar out. Bankar. Yes. Yep. Yeah. They had Hernando and Bankar, which is like pretty wild. Um. Okay, we've seen... Uh, so basically, I think that JTFQ is purely on endurance and a D-res plan. I think endurance might be their only breaker. Rude. Yeah, they're like on on so much. Yeah, to be fair, the so the economic war warfare is uh the economic like denial that they had on us is actually pretty significant because we did play some money but we're now on like nothing um oh yeah that's why i said when you chopped the deal but i'm like we shove it now or things are gonna get really bad <laughs> yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> absolutely
Oh, I've lost my... Where are we? There we go. <laughs> yeah. I'll still in this one. I like their deck, though. Yeah, it's pretty rude, right? Mm -hmm. And, like, especially, like, once they get a sneak dot, like... Like if you if you haven't got really nasty, like just imagine trying to play, like you're kind of, I don't know, you're you're not nasty face check ice against it. Imagine trying to res an endless euler against this sodding deck, like ridiculous. Right, what's the time? Yeah. It's like no, yeah, that's okay. We can. No, play. thank you. Uh, you got time for one more? Let's do it. I'll do that one there. Okay. All right. So just going for uh for anyone joining the stream, this is this is a deck that we're playing today. So we've got Three copies of Riot Suppression with the idea that... Uh, and we have three copies of Regenesis. Yes, we are playing 21 points. Um, <laughs> uh, so the idea here is that they, they trash stuff, and there's there's stuff here that they're going to want to trash, like our um, our Keelings and our Nana Civics Grids, or they're just Hippo, some of our Ice. And then we're going to Riot Suppression them, and if they take the minus three clicks, then we're going to score out a Regenesis into a, an agenda the next turn. Um, by sticking a big agenda in the bin with either simulation reset or hands eye review or just already having one in there. Um, and if they take the core damage, then that's good for us because we've got two copies of Keeling in the deck um, and Ober Carters and things like that. So, should be so far like undefeated on Jaina, you know? What are you going to do? What you going to do? Uh, what I should probably do is move, maybe move this up a little bit, put it here. What's happening? Um, I'm just like shifting the screen chat around a little bit so it is a bit more visible. Mm. I'm still working this stuff out, you know. <laughs> I'll get there. <laughs> yep. I'll get there eventually. Work it. Uh, so, Brandon, this morning, the thing that I wanted to do today was to uh, go over the replay of our game from the CBI where, uh, where I, and I'll say this on stream, where I beat R plus prison with Tag Me Freedom. That's right. It happened. Um, so anyway, I wanted to go over that game, and apparently, it, so I, I stupidly didn't press record when we were doing it, as I told you. But also, the, re the replay didn't save, so I can't even go back over it. It kind of sucks. Right, we have a game. We're against Padma. Our opening hand is two Anansi, one Bartholomus, a Bacterial, and a Riot. Are we mulliganing this? Hmm. <laughs> hmm. That's it's a bit tough. I think you mull it. Just be greedy. Yeah, this is better. Uh, okay, we've got. Oh wow. Okay, so we had one hedge fund. We now have two hedge funds. We've got a simulation reset, a nano civic grid, and a Nancy, and a Rashida. Are we respecting uh, Padma yeah, turn one? Low. We're not, right? Hedge Rashida Anansi over time? Yeah. Because we're greedy. Okay, they gamble. They put down an Earth Rise. They draw a card. And they run R&D last click, as I would do. They're, so they charge their Earth Rise. They have four cards. Let's see what they see. They don't see anything. Well, 
Let's see what they actually saw. Right, we um, pop a Rashida and we draw a Bophonymus and a Nancy, a Simulation Reset and a Bacterial Programming. Do you want a Simulation Reset from here? Mm, I don't know. I quite like this hand. Like... Um, okay, what's the whole hand? So we've got a Nancy and Bophonymus as ice. We've got one Nana Civic Grid. Mm -hmm. Two simulation resets, a hedge fund, and a bacterial. Uh, maybe. Maybe we sim all. I just, I want to put the, so I'm putting the, the Nancy's going on R&D, right? Like. Yes. So you can hedge a Nazi R&D Bathonomous HQ. Mm. And then next turn you can simulation. Yeah, I don't know about Bathonymous HQ. Gives the game away if we put it over archives, but I think we still might put it over archives. Uh, I don't want. I don't want the bacterial storm. Fine, cool. Yeah, that that makes sense. I guess it's like it's a perfectly fine boop target if they don't want. Okay, they diesel. Well, they've got a lot of cars now. So they earth rise, then they, like, they dieseled. Um, uh, Phil says, can a new Anglican tech scummer and a Siberian puppy boys really flat, rhyme, flat, <laughs> flat line a runner together? Uh, I'm not even sure I understand that. <laughs> Who's who? I don't know. <laughs> Are you a Siberian puppy boy? Um, okay, right. What did they do? Um, right, they diesel. They played rigging up to install a poison vial. So they've got a poison vial with a shitload of counters on it. Uh, they play daily casts and then they creative. So they end on six credits. Uh, we've got sixteen. Uh, we got a Regenesis. I really wish we'd put the sodding Bophonymus on archives now. I, do we, I might simulation here. Yeah. yeah. We simulation everything but the Regenesis. Sure. And then if we draw an ice, then we jam the Regenesis. I mean, if we don't draw an ice here, then we're like really boned, but I think this is fine. So basically, like, like, let me just check that you agree with me here. So I'm, uh, I'm, I'm leaving the bacterial face down in archives, right? Yeah, that's that's what yeah. you're doing. That's, yeah, that's what cool. you said you're gonna do. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna trash these three. Uh, we're gonna bring back the Nana Civic Grid, the other simulation reset, and a hedge or a Rashida. Uh. Hedge fund at this point. Yeah. We did not draw a nice. Um, we drew a regolith, a riot, and a hedge fund. Uh, draw? Yep. Okay, we drew an, an enemy. Um, well, is there any chance we just. Do we YOLO? Yeah, do we YOLO here? I don't. I mean, you could do it. You can do it, but like the Earthrise is going to give them two cards. An enemy's not even that good on archives. No, I think we. Yeah, I yeah. think we've got, we just put. Mm, just yellowing? <laughs> no, because if they draw Dirty Laundry, then they're going to play it, right? Yeah, then they're going to play it. Yeah. Okay, right. We're putting, so you're betting that they don't try Dirty Laundry? <laughs> I really wish we'd had that. Like, if, like, if we'd have had that, if we'd have had that before us on on archives, I'd I'd have felt so good last turn. It's fine though. It's fine. I understand. Okay, they put down an endurance. Um, too. Yeah, they're running R and D, charging the endurance. 
Uh, they have zero yeah, money, worthless. which is actually a real shame because um, they can't trash anything. And if they trash something, then we can write a suppression in them. I'm going to resi an anti. This is pretty efficient for them, though. Uh, two boat counters and a, and a poison vial, I'd imagine. I wonder if there are any other tricks like... Uh, Tonga Mato and uh, Gabalie. Yeah. Do we... Do we put out the regolith in an empty server and click... No, they, mm, no, they just charge up off it, don't they? I just want them to trash something. Got a, such a cool play here. Yeah, well, you put the regolith behind ice, res it, click it twice. It's fine. What did you mandatory draw? Uh, another hedge fund. Yeah, I'm just going to put this in server one and click it twice. The regular phase. Wait, you don't want a Regenesis play here? Um, How much money do we have? Seven. Yeah, just hedge Regenesis. See yeah. If, see if it happens. If it doesn't happen, we like are in trouble. But And then I've got one more click. So I just hedge again. I've got a second hedge. Got nothing better to do. Yeah, do it. Just want... Yeah. <laughs> it's just greedy. I, I wanted the right suppression turn. I wanted it to happen. Um, ooh, okay. Well, they're, uh, no, so they're tunneling. So yeah, this was perfect. So they stick a flux capacitor on the Anansi. So they're now like breaking this for, for absolutely nothing every single turn, I think. Like they can run once a turn and this ice does nothing, which is hilarious. That's fine. We're going to score out before they know it. Um, okay. What ice do we have on the remote again? An Anansi. Which is... Okay. Okay. They trashed an Anna Civic Grid. Oh, if we'd have just kept it all in hand. <laughs> it had the <to> play. <laughs> I mean, we've got to play anyway. Like, we're just going to get it off the boring way, right? Uh, we draw a Keeling, which is excellent for, like, oh, next turn. Oh, wow. Okay, um, yeah, you can do that. You can well, just do that. I'm going to score this Regenesis first with Bacterial. Mm hmm That feels good. Okay, they are into the depth thing through into R and D. Hmm, they're man, all, they're all in on charge here. I love it. Um, what's the chances that they grab a? What's the program which allows you to see two an extra card? It's like an R and D interface. Asher. I can't think what it's called. It's really good in Padma. No, I think they're just... Oh, they're just using Into the Depths to gain money. Oh, no. Oh. Uh, no, I, I know what's something. Called. Yeah, the because of it then. Niashia. 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 Um, mm -hmm. Okay, we've drawn a thimble rig. I kind of want to draw... We want to draw first here? Because I, I think we want to get the Keeling in the remote. Or maybe we just need. To, do just we need wanna, money? I just want a Keeling remote, a Thimble rig R and D, and take a dollar. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. I don't love this Thimble rig being on the outside, but we can already move it, so that's fine. Well, you, that's that's where you you outside. They paid two boat. And then you boop it, and then they don't get their flux. That is you, kind of true. You it down. They boop uh, it right, two, and then you put it back up. They're running the keeling. Are we resing in a Nancy? Uh, we have twelve. We have twelve credits. And what's their boat 
situation. They've got four counters on the boat and two on the vial. Yeah, you res here. But do they have money? Yeah, they've got 12 from somewhere. They've got some daily casts ticking in. I think I might have forgotten to tell you what they did last turn. Uh, they installed like two <laughs> daily casts and played a creative commission after the Into the Depths. Um, right, they use uh, two boat and a poison vial. Uh, they see the keeling. Disappointingly, we won't have a riot suppression play here. Unless we draw into assimilation reset and we YOLO off it. Um, right, we draw another riot suppression. Um, are we sticking in the rego and clicking it? I'm sticking in the rego and I'm playing riot suppression. All right, riot suppression. I click one riot suppression here. Yeah? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But they'll just run it. Yeah, 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 fine. Okay. I'm down with it. Because if they're not running R&D, then they're not getting sweet bodies and all True. kinds of goodies. Uh, right, they're taking three less clicks. So, regolith in the remote? Stick to regolith. Yep. Uh, and then I kind of don't want to res it, right? Do we want to show them what it is? No, you're not. Just take a credit? No. Yeah. Same thing. thing is, if they run this in trash, I kind of, I kind of need the money. I guess it's, it's if, they, if they run it in trash, it gets rid of their poison vial. So then... Yeah. And their, and their excessive boat counters. Uh, they're running R&D first. Well, they're only click. We can't res this thimble rig because then we can't res the regolith. Mm, wait, how much money do we have? Three credits. Or do how we much do they have? 12 credits. Mm, we have to res. And then, and then move it? Is it better, like, yeah, so So they pay two boats? Yeah, because they can't actually I get in here, can bounce. they? Yeah. I guess we can credit Res Regolith, click it twice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, they're just bouncing. Uh, do we swap the Thimble Rig anywhere? Uh, what's on HQ? Anonymous. And what's on Archives? Anemone. Uh, swap it with the Anemone. Uh, we draw a tear. We Credit, have... res, click, click. Uh, right, first click, they are running archives. Through a thimble rig? No, uh, no, they're running R&D, sorry. Res the enemy? Mm. Um, it'll cost them two, uh, two cards, and then it'll cost them two boat counters. Yep, I'm doing it. And I'm pitching the tier. Yeah. That's better there than anywhere else anyway. Uh, they lost a deep dive and a piece in our time. I'd love them to play that piece, but it's not like they need money for like the rest of the game. <laughs> mm -hmm. I guess now, like, they can't just get in for absolute free. Um, maybe they're just going to install a new boat. They also only have free cards when they're accessing, which is good. Oh, those steals are off the table. They draw, draw, 
and install a nanotech. That is a shame. Um, fine. We draw. Uh, do we want to move the thimble rig now? Like we, I kind of want to move it back onto R and D now. We've got a, um, a nanotech out. Um, uh, that's not gonna matter. What? Hmm. Because now they run R and D for one credit, and they get all their counters back. If we move a thimble rig there, they can't they still, actually well, get. They in. still just can, they they can bounce. In, they, they can yeah, bounce. Yeah, they can get one charge. Counters. That's one charge per turn. Mm, but they still have to break a Nazi. So, mm. like, I just, I kind of want to move this Bathonomous. Actually, I kind of want to remove the Anansi to archives. That is maybe not a bad shout. Yeah, that's what I want to do. Uh, but but then they, do we want them for archive? Yeah, I guess archives doesn't matter. Yeah. Yeah, move the Anansi to archives. Because then they run through, they'll use boats on the thimble rig, and and then we'll move it up. Uh, we drew a fresh Anansi. Um, are we just clicking this regular three times? Or do you want to draw? Um, can I click regular twice and then trash the anemone and put Anansi over top? Yeah. <sighs> You can only just afford to res it, but I think that's fine. Maybe we should have used the thimble rig to move the Bathonomous onto archives first. No, but then it gets so much value. Okay, they um so after their cast, they've got 16 credits. Uh, they draw, draw. And then... They're dirty laundering HQ. Do we? <laughs> We're definitely not resing this Anansi here. Um, Is it Anansi on HQ? No, no, sorry. Do We're you definitely not resing the. Um, no, they're, 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 they're dirty laundering HQ. We're not resing the Bathonomous. Are we booping them into the Anansi on the remote? They have to break it with Nanotech. And, there's, and it's a one ice. Wait, remote. don't they have boats? No, they have one boat counter. Oh, wow. Uh, uh, so why aren't we booping them into archives? Because, because, we don't the, want them to get the, because the archives one has got the, the charge thing on it. And we kind of okay, don't yeah, want them to put them the tear face up, right? Because then it's like, it's bad. Right, yeah, yeah. Right. I, I I think we boot them into the, the server. Right. Oh, I was gonna say also there's a if they trash this then then like it opens up a right suppression window, but we don't have the we don't have the tools that we need for it. Um yeah, so they had to pay nine to deal with this ice. They see the regolith. They're gonna trash it. They do trash it. And then they dirty laundry HQ. They see a right suppression. Okay, so they end on 10. So they have got money. Uh, do we want to swap Thimble Rig? Probably not. But do we want to put it on the... No, we don't want to put it on the outside of R&D, do we? Or no. do we? Yeah, leave. leave. No. Um, I think you move the Thimble Rig to the remote. I have not done that, and now I've clicked draw by mistake. Um, it's okay. 
My bad. <laughs> okay, we drew a bacterial programming, which is awkward. What's our hand? One bacterial programming, one riot suppression. That's it. No ice. No draw. ice on HQ. Uh, we draw it's a Rashida. Uh, I'm going to put the Rashida in the remote. Yeah. I guess if they steal this bacterial, that might not oh. be the worst. And take a dollar. Like this bacterial might sort out some of our issues. Uh, they are they rigging up a hyperbaric. So they can deal with the symbol rigman. They're playing into the depths on R and D. Okay, how many boat counters do they have? Well, let's see what they charge. Okay, they charge for vial. So they've got two boat counters. We and the vial. And the vial. Yeah, and free on vial. And nine credits. So we can res. Mm. We can just res. We have nine credits. A... Mm. I don't like the res here. Just let them through. If I was going to do anything, it would I would boop them. Mm. But... Yeah, I don't like the We res could here. boop this them. I, if we boop them, like, into... HQ, for instance, they get nothing off their into the depths. <laughs> like, yeah, I think I booped them in HQ here. That's that's a good shout. When you have two ice reds, then don't boop them into any of them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just um, and this is fine. I I think we actually oh, they hit the right suppression. I kind of actually wanted them to hit the the yeah right exactly. the bacterial. <laughs> okay, they've got one click left, so maybe they don't check this Rashida. They don't check the Rashida. They're dirty laundering R and D with two cards in hand, so they can't steal an Obo here either. And so there's like uh, they can steal a Regenesis, I guess. Um, I'm not swapping this. Oh, am I swapping the Fimble Rig? I guess we are now. Yeah, you are. Last click. Yeah. You Last click it. onto the onto the server. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They steal a Regenesis. Okay. Um, we pop a Rashida? Yep. Okay. Uh, we draw... Ooh. A Palisade, a Bathonymus, a Simulation Reset, and a Chiashi. They didn't, tra mm, they didn't trash anything last turn, did they? No, I don't think so. So, you want a simulation reset here? No, I want. I think we're quite close to setting up for a for a turn where we we can riot suppression them for the win, but we're not there yet. Um. Oh, okay. Because I was gonna try to get this Nani grid. But. Yeah, Nanny Grid would be nice. Uh, Nanny Grid Trash Boat. <laughs> Nanny Grid Trash Boat would be pretty sick. But do they just run archives if they suspect it? Right, right. Um, okay. We could we so... could simul reset here because I don't like any of our hand apart from possibly the riot suppression. Like none of the we're not resing any of these ice. Really, right. Um, do we just reset the lock? 
Yeah. Is there anything in archives? Oh, maybe we want to bring back. We might want to bring back a nanny grid. And do we want to bring back a keeling? Yes. Okay, so I'm going to leave like a palisade and a bathonymous face down in archives. Ooh, I kind of wanted that palisade. You think? I guess like if we yeah, track. Yeah, because they don't have a barrier breaker right now, and so it's like two boats. Well, I'm trashing our whole hand, and then we can decide. Right. Um, mm -hmm. So I think we're bringing back the bacterial programming. As, as much as a little unless bit of me. You, unless you want to leave that. I mean, a tiny bit I'm of me wants to it. leave it. Okay, let's leave it. Right. I'm, I'm bringing, in which it. case, I'm bringing back the riot suppression uh, just because it's part of our game mm -hmm. plan and uh, I won't be told mm -hmm. otherwise. I'm bringing back a uh, face up nanny grid. I'm bringing back a face up mm -hmm. keeling. Mm -hmm. And then we can choose two more things. So we could bring back the palisade. Palisade. Uh, and then what's another ice we need another ice I think. or money there's two bathonomous which i don't think are that good for us right now no there's uh, oh there's an, there. there's an there's an enemy bring back the enemy yeah okay uh okay well we got our palisade back so we've got palisade keeling and a hands eye review Wait, did we shuffle back? Oh, oh, yeah, and... Oh, sorry. Sorry. Yeah, we had other stuff. Uh, so we've got Anemone, Palisade, Fimble Rig, Hands Eye Review, Keeling. <laughs> okay, that seems fine. So... We could go pe Keeling Palisade. We can Keeling Palisade. Seems okay. Okay, yeah, let's do that. Let's just check they haven't got a paper to put them in. No, they don't. Okay. Okay, they draw, draw. Shit. They're running archives. <laughs> They're running archives. No, that's good. No, it's not good. That's fine. We're good. They're turning all of our that's ice fine. face up. All of our ice is useless. And they're going to steal this bacterial. Oh, yeah. We don't have Kakarembo in this deck. No, like we don't have Kakarembo. Um, there's no space for that. We're playing free. Uh, you're saying, this is not Ag Prison at all. Um, I mean, like, it has some Ag Prison cards, but what we're actually trying to do is um, uh, is win with Riot of Suppression plus Regenesis. Um, that's our combo here. Uh, obviously, that kind of plays into the prison-y thing, but, uh, but I will refute you if you tell me that this is a pure prison deck. Um, right, so they're going to... They're probably doing this so they are. Oh, they're going to run this Keeling last clip. Um, right, we get to arrange the top seven, so this is going to take a while. Um, so we've got DNA, Bathonymus, Obercarter, Nana Civic, Bacterial, Anemone, and another Nana Civic. Do we want to draw? We probably want to... <laughs> we want to... Oh, no, the Nana Civics are a bit shit now. Um... Do we want to draw? Maybe we can just Obercarter out behind a, an uh, enemy. We don't have a Regenesis in that bunch. That's crazy. No. I mean, two mm. of the Regenesis are out of the game. Um, JGFQ is just suggesting <laughs> that we draw all of them to hand, which I kind of like. Because <laughs> uh, they're going to run... I, they... I would... I would... I would... I would agree with that. <laughs> I think we just do that and then we I work mean, it out next turn. Discard, nothing. Uh, move c card to HQ, all of them. 
There we go. Done. We we can work this out next time. At least we got a good hands eye target. We can res Keeling. <laughs> Uh, they're running HQ, which is uh, problematic. They might have called our bluff here. They see a thimble rig. That's fine. Right. We res Keeling? Mm-hmm. Um, do we want to swap this thimble rig? <sighs> yeah. Wait, where? Yeah, that's the issue. Do we swap it with the Anansi? Makes R and D nope. really open. So just leave it where it is. It's going to cost them one to get through. That sucks. Well, we have Palisade. <laughs> oh, good old Palisade coming to our rescue. Do we? No, we don't. No. Okay. No. Uh, we draw a simulation reset. We can play like a wild simulation reset here. Uh, I want to keep that for next turn because, like, like we might we might get the combo off here. We might get the combo, <laughs> right? Um, so we can put a nano civic right. So our hands like two nano civic grids. Uh, thinking for a second. We can put a nano civic grid on server one, which at least forces them to run archives. We could also put one on archives. <laughs> and then we could hands eye review like a buffonomous. But we that. Have a in hand? Uh, yes. But that does make HQ really, really, really open. So I wonder whether we. I think we do that. That's the bluff play, and I like it. So my my play is Hanse the Pathonomous, Nani Archives, and uh, DNA Tracker the Remote. Hmm. Do we not want the do we not want a nanny grid on server one though? No, that we'll make them go through DNA tracker and an Anansi. So DNA tracker twice and an Anansi once. Wait, we could do wait, why How don't we do, do they have? We've got an anemone in hand. Hold up. Uh they've got eleven. Why don't we put an enemy on the remote? Why don't we do hands eye review something and then we can put an enemy on the remote and a Nava Civic grid on server one. And then we, if they run archives, that's fine. We've got lots of opportunities to get ice into archives. Mm, no, I want to protect archives now. DNA track of the room because it, they, yeah, it, unless they have pinhole, this queuing will actually tick down. If they don't, then we actually force out their like boat vile nonsense. And it might open actually it might actually open a scoring window to jam the though. I think I want to protect HQ. I mean there is no protecting HQ. <laughs> uh you put an anemone there. That at least protects the Obercar. Sure, but I don't think that wins us the game. I just don't know whether actually putting the Nano Civic on archives is is like the play here. I think putting the Nano Civic just on. I think okay, J the JTFQ's got a. That's got... pretty good. Yeah, he's also got a point. Like the the agendas are, are like safer. Okay, so what about if we put Nano Civic Grid on archives? We put an anemone on HQ. I don't want to give up. Yeah, sorry, I'm just thinking. Uh, lots of options. Um, 
All right, tell me your play. What was your play? So we're going to go... On say the Bethinimus. Yeah. Install Nani on archives and DNA tracker the remote. We can only just res this DNA tracker. Is that all right? Correct. That's Fine. all right. Uh, okay. What are we discarding? We have to discard two cards. A thimble rig? What? Um, we've got two, um, anem- two anemones, a thimble rig, a nano civic grid, two agendas, and a simulation reset. Uh, discard the o- discard the obo. Yeah. Uh, and the thimble rig. Yes. Okay. Mm. I guess Palisade could actually do some work here. <laughs> Maybe this Palisade is all we need. Okay, they diesel. They play into the depths on R&D. So they are just ignoring the keeling, which is probably wise. Uh, how many agendas left in the game? There's an oboe. I think there's still two oboes in there somewhere. Uh, they're charging the poison vial here, which I think is wrong. I think they should charge the boat. But that's fine. Mm-hmm. Um, yes. Maybe Talking they're going to charge. I'm on stream. <laughs> oh, they do have... Okay. Oh, what happened? You? We lost. <laughs> oh, they, they stole. Okay. Um. Okay. So they basically they into the depths. They had a botulus, which is what I was kind of expecting with the with the poison vial. Um. Mm-hmm. Which they put on a Nancy using into the depths, but then they just they just stole an oboe. Um. Yes. There was a regenesis next. <gasps> there no, was- no, no, no. <sighs> Do we have a play? No, we need a right suppression as well. Dang it. Well, in theory, this deck, like, works. We've not managed to pull off the dream combo yet, but it did win two games just by scoring out Regenesis. Because uh, it sounds yes. like it's a good card. Uh, right. I might have to call it there for today, but that was fun. Yes, it was a good time. Um, mm-hmm. Well, everyone, thank you very much for joining us for WooTube. Um, I'll let Brandon the King say goodbye. Bye, everyone. And uh, I hope you all have a good day or night or whenever it is. And uh, ciao for now. <laughs>